I'm going to do a problem utilizing Gauss's law with spherical symmetry. This is where Gauss's law is usually applied in physics problems. It is with highly symmetrical systems it can greatly simplify the problem we're trying to do. What does it mean to have spherical symmetry? Well it means if this, this is some charge distribution, is that charge distribution only depends on the radius r and does not depend on any azimuthal angles and so you can rotate it about any axis going through the center and it doesn't change the form and so let's say this charge distribution has some total charge q and we're going to look at a charge distribution rho of r that's equal to some constant a times 1 minus here's the radius of the coordinate system divided by uh, the radi some uh, constant radius big R for R less than or equal to capital R and then just zero for R uh, greater than well let's say greater than R so the radius then of the the charge distribution is capital R and the uh, charge distribution then within that R is given by this. So, so what does that mean exactly? I, I'm, I wouldn't go any further unless I sort of understood that or it, and a little more detail or uh, look at a graphical representation of that mathematical form. What, what is this saying? So it's saying that at the origin at R is equal to zero uh, this rho of R, rho of R is equal to uh, some value A. So that A is the density, the charge density at the center. So, and then at, at R, then when this is a function of R, when R is equal to R, this term is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So it goes to 0, it, it's A at 0, and it's uh, 0 at R. And then it it looks like it's just decreasing linearly. This is just some line. So the the charge distribution then is some line that uh, uh, between this a and zero over a distance r. Okay, so that's that's useful to know. Okay, so what's the first thing we might want to know about this system? The first thing one might ask is what is a? What is a? in terms of Q, right? Q has physical meaning to us. That's the total charge of the system. A is just some random constant. Can we in fact find uh, this constant in terms of the total charge? And we can do that because uh, we know that the integral over all space of the density distribution dv is equal to the total charge. Okay, so now this integral is essentially a three-dimensional integral, but we're but we're not going to integrate over three dimensions. Symmetry again saves the day and we can turn this three-dimensional integral into a one-dimensional integral. And if you're not familiar with how to do this, you need to be how to use symmetry to turn high dimensional integrals into one dimensional integrals. And because this is uh, a absolutely crucial to be able to turn these problems into uh, trivial ones and saves enormous amount of work. So if you have spherical symmetry, if you have in this case spherical symmetry, and that means that our what we're integrating is only a function of R, then the volume element dV can be replaced or is equal to uh, 4 pi r squared dr and you've replaced a three-dimensional integral uh, over the volume into a one-dimensional integral over the radius. Alright, so let's go ahead and so now we have an integral over the radius and we're integrating from 0 to capital R, and that's because we can integrate to infinity, but since the row is zero for anything beyond R, we only need to 
to uh, integrate out to capital R. And then the uh, density distribution is A, 1 minus R over the full radius. And then our volume element, which is 4 pi R squared dr. Okay, so pull out the constants and I have 4 pi a integral from 0 to r of r squared minus r cubed over capital R dr. And that's simple enough, it's just two polynomials. So I get the indefinite integral of this 4 pi a r cubed over 3 minus r4 over 4 capital R evaluated at 0 and capital R. 4 pi a and then zeros are just zeros so I just get when uh, r is substituted in r cubed over 3 minus an r to the fourth divided by 1 r in the denominator gives us capital R cubed over 4. So this is 4 twelfths, this is 3 twelfths, so the difference is 1 twelfth, and we get uh, 4 pi a r cubed over 12. All right, so, so this is equal to the total charge, 4 pi a r cubed, well, okay, or 3, we could cancel that gives us 3 in the denominator. This is equal to the total charge, and so now we found our constant A in terms of the total charge, which is 3q over pi r cubed. Okay, so here we used uh, symmetry and a density uh, function, charge density function that only depends on R, uh, to be able to integrate over the entire charge to, and, and uh, you, practicing with spherical symmetry, to find this constant in terms of our total charge Q and the radius. Uh, I'll do a second video for part two of this problem where we actually use Gauss's law to find the electric field.